Can I get a double cheeseburger with no lettuce and a medium onion ring and some spicy ketchup? Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, so double meat water burger, double cheese, no lettuce with a medium onion ring and then spicy ketchup on the side. Uh, that's it. Okay, let me 89 go to your outer lane indeed. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. In this bag, guys, might be my last meal for 48 hours if I don't catch any fish. This is a Texas tradition, even though a California company bought out Whataburger. We got some nice hot onion rings, some spicy ketchup, napkins to wipe my face, and we got a big juicy double Whataburger with cheese. Look at that, guys. So this might be the last thing that I eat. I hope not. Mmm. Man. That is, that is good. Oh, man. Good stuff. Look at that. For those of you guys that have never had a water burger, this is one of the best. Take one of these nice hot onion rings, dip it in that ketchup there. I'm almost done with my water burger. And then we're gonna head out to the lake, Lake Corpus Christi, and we're gonna catch some fish. First time I freshwater fished in like 20 years. Well, I take that back. I haven't caught any freshwater fish in like 20 years. So wish me luck, because I'm gonna need it. We don't think about Whataburgers, they are messy. But they are good, man. I'm starting to get full. The challenge starts right now. So let me get my phone out. And it's 11.30 a.m. on Thursday. So I can't eat again until 11.30 a.m. on uh, Saturday. So this is 11.24. So 11.30 to 11.30. So let's go ahead and hit the start button. All right, let's get it going. There we go. It is actually counting down. So let's head out to the lake to get this stuff unloaded and get the tent set up. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. I've tried to be my own all in all, and Everything but it's just been a hard and arduous thing When I look back upon the life I have lived And the choices I have made What do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way but when Welcome to uh, beautiful Lake Corpus Christi This is uh, where I'm going to be staying at camping at and doing my 48 hour. I'm only gonna eat what I catch. I only brought a little can of corn and I'm gonna use that to catch perch. So we're gonna get the camp set up and I'll show you some of the tackle that I'm gonna be using. And we're gonna be trying to catch any kind of fish out here from catfish to crappie to white bass to largemouth and even bluegill. So we'll see what happens. Man, that catfish bait stinks. But anyway, this is uh, a lot of the different stuff that I'm going to be using right here. I'm going to be using this to catch some bass, um, get your little crappie jigs with the jigs right here, the black and yellow and white and red. We also got some bobbers. We got some more crappie jigs. And over here, we got miscellaneous crappie jigs and we got lights to go on the top of the catfish poles. Uh, we got some catfish chicken and blood, some gulp catfish, and we also have some chicken livers in the cooler, and we have two dozen of minnows for crappie. So we're going to see if we can catch uh, whatever we can. I mean, I didn't bring no food, no food whatsoever. This is going to be my little bluegill pole right here. It's just a little bitty pole with a little bobber. <laughs> if things get bad, I can catch some bluegill and cook them up. Uh, so I'm going to take you around the camp here and show you exactly what, what's going on here. You can see over there I got a little fire pit. I have a picnic table. 
I have some wasp up there that I'm fixing to get something to knock that nest down. I also got me a, uh, a trap that we're gonna set out with some uh, chicken liver and some bread all up in here and see if we can get some minnows or we can get uh, whatever, perch, bluegill, um, maybe even some crawfish, I don't know. The last time I ate, guys, was at 11 20 today and we started the actual 48 hours at 11 30 here much here's how much time i have left right here one day 20 hours three minutes and 50 seconds let's take a look at the camp setup got my jeep right there with the trash bag on it got my solar panel out here i'm charging two uh flash fish solar generators you can see my small one right here and right here so that's what's going to be keeping me my phone charged and pretty much everything i've already got two catfish poles out already haven't even gotten a bite yet so uh, this may be tough last time i ate was at 11 30 today right well actually it was 11 15 and we started the challenge at 11 30. so i got my um, hammock here show you up in the tent here <sighs> Got my sunroofs open. Looks pretty cozy in here. My bag of clothes, extra blankets, supposed to get down in the 50s. There's already a fly in my tent already. Got my chair, got the kayak over here. And we got a cooler, mainly with just ice, a little bit of water in it, but I got chicken livers in there. Catch some uh, catfish. Uh, five gallons of water, charcoal. All kinds of stuff there's no food in here I do have coffee I'm allowed to have coffee I don't drink coffee that much but um, I do have coffee I'm also gonna be if I get some fish I may use this fish fry that's it but I have no vegetables or anything um, and then I got miscellaneous stuff in there like my life jacket and towels and paper towels and you know stuff like that some firewood up here and let's go over here and Check my set out up set up over here. So we're gonna be using this with a little minnow on here, try to get some crappie and some white bass out here. Those two poles would be for catfish mainly. Alright. Then we got we got some we got some friends up there. We're gonna have to knock down some wasp. So if things really get bad, guys, if things really, really get bad to where I haven't eaten in 24 hours or whenever I decide to give up, I do have a first aid kit, all right? And I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna try to go the whole 48 hours, but this is my first aid kit, all right, right here. So this is the only thing that I can have, but once I have this, the challenge is over with. That means I, I lose. All right, some gloves. So it's a bag of Texas heat, 250 calories, and in one Slim Jim, which is, I don't know, 25 calories. So that is my first aid kit, guys. All right, over here, guys, I got the fire pit. I got some extra kindling. I got wood all the way up in there already. So I think this is gonna be pretty cool. You guys put down in the comments if you think I'm gonna make it or not, if you think I'm gonna catch any fish. <laughs> I haven't uh, freshwater fished in in a while and I haven't caught a freshwater fish in over 20 years so uh, things are against me right now but hopefully uh, hopefully we catch some bluegill or something or just something something I can eat we do have some we have some minnows we have two dozen of minnows in, in that minnow bucket so tomorrow guys we're gonna put the kayak in the water I'm gonna drag it over there and put it in the water and we're gonna go along that shore over there and we're gonna be throwing lures and see if we can hook up some bass all the way along that shoreline over there so that's what we're going to do in the morning and uh just earlier there was no people out here i was the only one out here um so people are starting to show up i guess or whatever but you can see my setup beautiful beautiful place right up underneath this tree i actually rented this campsite and i rented that campsite and the reason why I rented that campsite is I wanted more real estate to fish. You guys can see if you go, I can go all the way down that wall because that's my campsite and this is my campsite. 
main reason I did that was to keep people from being right beside me and being noisy when I'm trying to shoot a video and stuff like that. Some people out there fishing on the pier, which is just right beside me. And uh, you got the fish cleaning place over there with water. And guess what guys, check this out. Check it out. I have running water and somebody left me a bar of soap. I would say that's perfect. All right, let's get the uh, minnow trap set up and uh, see if we can possibly catch something in that. We'll leave it out overnight. Put some catfish uh, things in there, and then we're gonna roll up some bread, some old bread. Just kind of roll this up in a dough. Throw some nice juicy chicken liver in there. just to get some bait fish. Let's chum the water up here. There's lots of corn in there, and then drop it up there. Uh, well, that ain't good, something took the bait. Let's reel this one in. Now I think the bait's still on this one. Feels like it. Yep, bait's still on this one. So let's get it further out. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that juicy night crawler. Freaking catfish love those. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Let's go put him on the hook. See if we can nail a fish for dinner. This should catch something. Catfish will come and gobble this up, man. I haven't fished with worms in years. Gotta be a big one out there. Just all we need is legal size. I'm not hungry yet, but I will be about five or six. Guys, we're gonna put a GoPro inside that trap. Let's see if we can see anything coming around it or in it or anything like that. So let's pull it up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Oh, look, 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 we got another perch. My pinfish trap is working. Oh yes. Look at that, guys. Tonight, we get that gar or a catfish. All right, guys, I want to mention a, a company that sent me a product to test out, and it's called Bigfoot Bushcraft. They're fire plugs, which are windproof, they're waterproof, and they have a five minute burn. So I'm gonna open them up and show you. This is the very first time I'm gonna use this product, and like I said, they sent it to me for free, and you can see they're waterproof and windproof fire plugs, and they give you a nice little case to put them in right here. Again, that's Bigfoot Bushcraft. And they also send you a, a nice little ferrule rod, as you guys can see when you spark across it. Well, probably can't see it because, well, you can see that one, but you can see the ferro rod sparking right there. So we're gonna use this to start tonight's fire. Even if I don't catch any more fish, I did catch that little teeny perch or um, whatever the hell that thing is. I'll put the link down in the description, guys. So if you wanna try these out after what you see tonight, then uh, you'll have the link. I don't make any money off these. I, they just sent me a free product to try out and see how I like them. 
These are supposed to be all weather fire starters. So if it's raining out there and, and your, your uh, fire starter right here is getting wet, it'll still light. But it's pretty cool. I've had this for a while. I just haven't done a camping video in a while. So uh, check out their website. They have videos where they demonstrate how this works and, and in different conditions and stuff like that. So give them a shout out, man. I appreciate it, guys. Oh, guys, this is really nice out here. It's really, really nice. I mean, this tree is, is just unbelievable how much shade I've had. The only thing that's bad out here it's really bad is check it out see if you can see on my hand all them freaking gnats there is gnats everywhere man they're driving me nuts they're all over my hands they're just freaking everywhere but some good news I did catch a fish and I'm gonna eat tonight look what I caught he's a small little uh, what you call it um, <laughs> not a perch but a um, bluegill He's a little bitty small bluegill. I mean, that ain't that ain't even enough food <laughs> to feed me. But you know what? Uh, if I have to, I'll eat them. I mean, I'll just stick a little stick through them and put them on an open fire and smoke them, peel the meat off of them. Uh, I haven't been getting any bites on anything: chicken livers, night crawlers, minnows. Uh, I threw a lure, a little minnow lure. I also had through a, a crappie jig and nothing so hopefully maybe when the sun goes down it'll uh, it'll 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 improve where I catch a bigger fish than that because that's just not gonna feed me that's more like for bait for catching a big catfish um, so let me show you guys I don't know if I show you but I did not bring any food whatsoever there's no food in any of these bins here none whatsoever The only thing I did bring was some uh, some coffee. That's it. That's all I got. Some coffee and some coffee, mate. Um, in here is nothing but chicken livers and night crawlers, right there. And then the rest is water on the bottom. Over here in the big cooler, there is nothing but water. You got my drink mix right there, and that's it, just water. No food whatsoever, guys, so I'm sticking to my plan here. No dinner tonight so far. So we're gonna try the pier uh, with some night crawlers and a little uh, crappie jig and see if we can maybe pull something in. I brought my tape measure out just in case I need to measure something. Uh, I'm kinda upset about breaking my damn e-cig. Uh, it's not because of the money, it's because of the nicotine. So I can get one of these dirty little worms out. I mean, this is rare for me to do some night fishing, but hopefully I can get me a nice catfish and cook them up. Now, maybe it's this is a sign for me to quit. So we'll see how I feel when I wake up in the morning. Ah. I see some gar down there. I was getting a bite already. Oh, they probably stripped the damn worm. Pretty much most of it. There gotta be something out there. All right. That's good. All right. Set the drag. Let's go get the crappie pole. See if maybe we could get something. You won't be able to see the bobber, but I'm using just this little pink and black crappie jig. 
see if maybe there'll be something out there. Crappie got to be 10 inches. Go a little deeper. A lot more light on the water here. See what happens, guys. We only need two or three for tonight. I got a fish, guys. I got a fish. I finally got a fish. Finally, off a little crappie jig. Ooh, it's a good size crappie. Bring him in, he's gotta be 10 inches or more. Look at that, guys. Look at that. My first, I think he's gonna be 10 inches. Let's see. About time. Look at that. Oh man, crappie for dinner tonight. As long as he's 10 inches, look what he bit on. I knew I could catch some fish. I am so happy. All right, lay right there and I'm gonna measure you. Come on, guy. Oh, that, I don't, that's not a crappie, is it? That's a white bass. Yeah, that's a white bass. They gotta be, I think they gotta be four, that's 10 inches. Okay. Let me look on the Texas Parks and Recreation. All right, guys. They gotta be 10 inches from the tail. Stay still. Come on, I'm gonna get you in the water in a minute. Just stay still for a second. Come on. They gotta be 10 inches from the tail. Stay still. And he is 11 inches. He's a keeper. Cool, let's get him on the stringer. Dinner, dinner. Oh, we don't have a stringer. Well, we have a bucket. We'll go put them in a bucket. Look at that, guys. 11-inch white bass for dinner. All right, that was either a stupid white bass or um, God just decided to give me a meal in the morning. I'm gonna save it for the morning because I can make it through tonight without eating. Since we cut that white bass, we're putting this um, bluegill on for catfish and go throw it out there. Or a gar, either one. I don't know if I want a gar though. I guess you could eat gar. There we go. Hopefully a big old catfish gets a hold of that. All right. I think I got a fish. Oh, Lord, guys, I got a fish. Oh. Looks like a big old alligator gar or something. Oh man, look at that. This thing is big. It's gonna be a big old alligator gar. Nope, just got off. But it was a big alligator gar I seen at the top of the water. Off that, uh... Wow, man, I can't believe he got off. We're gonna try a couple more times here. See if we can lay him one more. Come on. Ooh, ooh, got another one, guys. Got another one. That's a little bitty one. It's like a little bitty uh, crappie. There's a little bitty white bass. And they gotta be 10 inches, yeah. It's a little bitty white bass. Too small, guy. Look at that, nice. Help this little crappie jig. Uh, 
I need one bigger than that, man. About seven or eight inches bigger than that one. I'm just happy I got breakfast in the morning. Be nice to get one more uh, white bass. Hopefully I didn't go on the dock. Nope. All right, we're gonna clean this fish up. It's the only one I got. The other one was too small. So all we're gonna do is just gut him. And that's about it. Not gonna cut his head off or anything like that. So we're just gonna split them. There he goes, he's bleeding out. All right, it's kind of windy tonight, so I don't know if it's gonna work out good or not. Let's get it primed a little bit. There we go. All right. So, this is gonna be fun. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, there's bugs every freaking where. All right, let's use this side. Nope, that ain't gonna work. <sighs> Ooh, almost. There we go. Come on, it's real windy, guys. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard. Come on. Get started. Bugs flying in my eyes. Oh, almost. Come on. Come on. All right, we're gonna have to put a, oh, look at that, oh, look, there it goes. There we go, there we go, guys. Fire. All right, got it. Whew. All right, guys, I'll put the link in the description. Bigfoot Bushcraft. Oh, you guys can probably barely see me, man. Nice fire. No food tonight. <laughs> Oh man, what a day. So the only fish that I caught was that little perch and my fish trap, and that was it. Um, I'm not in a very good mood. I accidentally dropped my e-cigarette on the cement over there and broke it. So not only do I have to go without food, but now I don't have the luxury of my e-cig. 
I actually need to quit doing it anyway, but it's just a thought of trying to deal with two things. You know, I'm not going to be able to eat dinner tonight because that, um, that, fish is, that fish is just not big enough. So I'm going to try to catch more fish and stuff like that. I was almost ready to give up and go home when I dropped that e-cig, but, you know, I'm going to keep going at it. And uh, maybe I can run into town in the Mathis and pick one up, or maybe it's just time for me to quit. Take a look at the inside of my tent. It's got that lead light up there. It's all ready to go. I shut everything because there's so many bugs around here. Here's how much time I got left, guys. This is the first night out here. I'm gonna call it quits tonight. It's about 10.30. Um, we did catch that nice 11 inch white bass that we're gonna make for breakfast. Um, I am dead tired. So I am going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. We had a little blow up here. I heard it while I was in the uh, tent. I could hear fish hitting the water. So it's about seven, seven in the morning, somewhere around there. And I hurried up and got dressed and got out here as soon as I could. So we have one fish for breakfast and we need to catch at least a couple more. Oh, I had a hit. So we can catch like two more white bass. We'll have a good breakfast. I mean, I hear him jumping everywhere. Come on, we're just gonna walk the shoreline here. That's all we're gonna do. So last night I slept pretty pretty good. It's a little bit chilly, but other than that, slept pretty good. We're gonna check our trap that I left out overnight and see if we got anything in there. Here. All we really need, guys, is pretty much just one more fish, and I'll have breakfast. We're gonna go out on the pier. Oh, there's two Freds out there, a white one and a brown one. We need to get in the sun, because it's kind of chilly. Yet. Still trying. I got a white Fred and a brown Fred. Come on. I mean, you can, hear, you can hear the fish out there hitting the top of the water. So we're gonna go out there on the pier and see if we can catch anything. I need to get in the sun, it's a little chilly. All right. Let's see if we can get out here and catch something, guys. See him hitting out there too. Uh oh, a bird. He almost had him a fish. Alright.
What's up, Fred? And that guy just leaves his fucking trash. I think I got one, guys. Hopefully it's a good size. Yes, yes. Better be 10 inches. Another white bass. All right, let's test it out. Oh, he came right off. Yep, 10 inches, guys. Perfect. Good morning, guys. I slept pretty good last night. Got down in like 61, 62 degrees. Um, I woke up, I don't know, I heard, heard the fish hitting the water and stuff like that, making a lot of noise. So I woke up probably about seven o'clock. No, actually, actually I woke up, guys, around uh, six in the morning, but didn't get out of the tent till like seven. So we're gonna go out here on the pier. I'm gonna show you where I uh, where I caught these two uh, white bass. One last night, and then one this morning. So I do have breakfast. Uh, I also had a big, huge alligator gar, about three foot long, and he was able to throw the hook. All right, on each one of these corners is where I caught one of these bass. So we caught one over there, just throwing it out a little ways that way down here, and then the same thing over here. And look at this, somebody left their trash. I hate when people do this crap. But anyways, you, if you guys can see those little clips over there, we're gonna take the kayak over there and we're gonna throw some soft plastics and some jigs towards the shore. And, and see if we might be able to land some dinner for tonight. I've already got breakfast, so I just need to, uh, to get some dinner, guys, and that's it. Look at that. It's a sweet fish. He's just over 10 inches. All right. Let's go ahead and pull the trap in, and see if we got anything. Lots of bugs on it. This has been out all night long. And we ain't got nothing this morning. Nothing at all. Yeah, we'll throw it back out there. Give it a good leap. Oh! Bear gorilla ain't got nothing on me. Did you see that? That's two fires I've started with the uh, ferro rod. So I highly recommend Bigfoot bushcraft. It works pretty good. Their ferro rod, if you remove the rope, it works great. Peach baby with some water. That's not a food product. So technically I'm allowed to have this. 
All right, I got quite a mess on my picnic table here. That bread is used only for the uh, fish trap. It's stale bread. And uh, a raccoon or something got into it last night because I found it way the hell over there with a big hole in it. We're gonna open them up. We're gonna salt them first. Uh, where's my knife? That way I can get them all the way open. I got them. That's good enough. We're going to eat these whole things. So I'm just going to layer them in salt. It works better if I do this with my hands rather than a damn glove. Come on. All right, that's enough salt. Layer it with pepper. Oh shoot. His gloves don't work good. There we go, that works better. Alright, got the pepper. We're gonna go with some blackening. All over it. All right, that's good. I'm a wood woo. Woo Dobo. You're just gonna put a lot on it, man. People are starting to show up now because it's Friday. All right. Now the last thing we're putting is the dill pickle. Actually, there's one more. I didn't put some garlic on there. All right. All right, here you go, guys. There's my catch that I caught last night. Remember, I haven't eaten since 11.30 yesterday. Those fish should be about done. So we gotta figure out how to get them off there. Oh. All right, there we go. I don't want to waste any of it. Come on. Come off the stick. Oh. Oh. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm underneath this canopy. Got my fish ready. Gonna pour my coffee. All right. Ooh, that's hot. All right. Folgers in your cup, man. Why they gotta put these plastic things on here? Cause these things are a nightmare to get off. Oh, come on. I hate these things. There we go. We're gonna put a couple of scoops. All 
Oh no, I'm gonna make some strong coffee. Let's do two and a half scoops. There we go. So coffee and uh, smoked fish. And then we're gonna put some coffee made in it because I, I can't stand black coffee. As soon as I figure out how to open this now. Oh, I don't know. Why do I make things so complicated? All right. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous, man. My fish is gonna get cold. One. Two. I'm gonna go all out with three. Three, stir this up a little bit. This is gonna be some strong coffee, man. And don't look that bad. What do you guys think? See the color? I don't really care for coffee, but I've been drinking nothing but water, so. All right, we're gonna put some salt on the fish. and lots of pepper. Oh man, here we go. We're just gonna eat with our fingers, guys, because I'm freaking starving. Oh, look at all this freaking meat. Make sure I don't get any bones. Peel the bones out. Mmm. That's pretty good. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that nice piece of meat. Like I said, I ain't wasting none of it, man. So I just gotta peel the bones, some of the bones in some of the areas. Mmm, protein. Mmm, man. This is good, guys. Mm. Man. <sighs> I'm so freaking hungry. Look at that big old piece of meat there. Take your time, beach mom, take your time. Enjoy, mm, this is good. And when you're in a survival situation, you don't wanna fillet it. You just wanna cook it like this, man, because you don't wanna waste any of the meat. You just wanna get as much of the meat as you can. Mm, that one's a little fishy. Goodness. Oh man, I was starving, man. I was really starving, guys. This is not easy to do this kind of stuff. Oh, here's a good piece of meat. Look at that. Look at that piece of meat there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that's good. Another piece. Mmm. That's some really good fish. Ugh, I hear people. All right, I, I gotta get all this meat right here. All the way up to the head. There's a big piece of meat there. Oh, it's nice and hot. Look at that. All right, guys, I'm making it. Mm. Man. Sorry, it's good. I'm just hungry. There we go, guys. 
Mm. Let's try some of my coffee. It's a lot of flies. Oh, that sucks. I don't know why people drink coffee. It needs a hell of a lot more creamer than what I put in it. Wow. Ain't no limit on creamers, but geez, that tastes, that tastes like crap. Oh, wow. Get, you guys, you get food all the time, stupid flies. I gotta catch mine. Oh man. I don't know if adding more creamer is gonna help this coffee or not. I put like six or seven creamers in there already. This is the last one. It's gotta make it taste better. I'm just not a big coffee drinker. All right, let's try it now. It needs sugar, that's what it's missing. But that made it doable. Ugh. Oh, guys, that food is good. There's a fish eyeball, even with the goo. Oh, I ain't looking forward to this. Do I have to? I'm not gonna eat the goo, though. I'm not gonna eat the goo. But we'll, we'll eat the fish eyeball. See the fish eyeball? Yeah. I ain't even on to it, man. I'm not even on to it. I'm gonna swallow it. Ah, I'm a sissy. I'm not chewing it, I ain't doing nothing. That's the first damn fish eyeball I've ever eaten. And as you can see, the eyeball is gone, so I just ate it. All right. All right. That's it. I am not full, but I don't feel as bad as what I did. Um, I feel a little bit better now, like I've got some energy uh, to fish some more and hopefully catch a couple more fish for dinner tonight. That's what I'm hoping. But we'll see what happens. A couple more of those would be good. <clears throat> I don't know how you guys drink coffee with no sugar in it. I mean, I put like seven or eight little creamers, coffee mates in here. But it definitely needs some sugar. <sighs> wow. All right, guys, let's get back to fishing. headed out on the kayak. Hopefully we don't sink. Here we go. We're going to go over by those cliffs over there. This thing's pretty lightweight here, so it moves pretty quick. All we're going to do is just coast right along here and throw this purple and black jig. So I got one or two white bass, legal size, dang it, and uh, one uh, sunfish or whatever you want to call them. I, f I always forget what you call them damn things. There we go. Perfect. 
we're just gonna sit here and troll right along the shore and just hope we catch something. So this trip has been fun. The only bad thing is I broke my e-cig yesterday, so I haven't had any nicotine. So not only am I, I went without food all night, but I also have no nicotine in me from, uh, from yesterday. So it's kind of like double whammy here, you know? But it is what it is. Open really to nail me something. I can't get it. This is where you need a bait caster. Sure is pretty over here though. Look at the way that cliffside is right there. That's pretty cool. This caster over here. I don't really trust this kayak. <laughs> you know? Guys, I ain't catching nothing. Not even a single bite. You'd think with that grass the way it is, this would be a good place. So all I'm doing is letting the uh, kayak drift. Come on, big fish. I know there's fish all along there. Now I don't look like we don't catch anything in the kayak. And it's early in the morning. There is alligators in this lake, guys, so I don't want to get back here and run into one that's bigger than my kayak. All right, since they ain't hitting on the shore, let's go to deeper water towards that bird and see maybe we can get something there. All right guys, nothing on the kayak, so we're gonna go back in. I cannot believe not one fish on the kayak. All right guys, looks like we're about halfway through the challenge. We have one day, one hour, and 54 minutes and 40 seconds left. It looks like the scene is about even, so we're halfway through it. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Quiet right, guys, I think I see a rabbit. He's real close to my camp. I might be able to get him. Remember anything I catch. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, shoot. Oh. Catching anything yet? I tried with a kayak along over there trying to get some bass and Nothing? nah. But last night I caught two two white bass and then I had a huge alligator gar. Oh, that's what we're going for right now. I mean, he was huge. I seen him last night. They were just all swimming up. So you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, it's Big Rich Fishing. What about yours? Big Rich, Texas Beach Bum. Oh, oh I actually, I see your yeah. stuff. I'm actually following that's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Yeah. Ah, it's my stupid idea to come out here with no food and try to survive for 48 yeah. hours. And I'm yeah. telling you, I, yeah. yesterday I was about ready to go home. Oh, yeah. I have a little I first aid. I think I got some chips or something if you need it or something. <laughs> I can't. I, can't. Okay. I gotta make it. I can, I can make it. <laughs> yeah, I got a first aid kit yeah. and it's got a little bag of Texas heat, yeah. which is 250 calories yeah. and one Slim Jim. Oh, but okay. if I touch that, then I don't make it. Uh, 
Interesting. So, That's cool. I'll be I'll be definitely looking forward to the video. I have a little yeah. jig, crappie jig, that's mm -hmm. purple and black mm -hmm. with a jig head that's black and I think it's you've got a yellow eye. That they were hitting it last night like crazy. Oh interesting. That's the only the only lure or soft plastic that I could use out here with something hitting it. But all right. Good luck. I'm gonna Thank go you, I'm gonna go what eat. What's your name again? Billy. Billy Richard. It's nice to meet you. But I, I usually do surf fishing yeah. is what I usually do. I, I What's see your name? I've Mark. Seen, I've seen your it's nice videos. To meet you. I'm actually following you, so are, are you? Yeah. Let's throw right here by this grass and these trees in the water. Oh, I don't know if that just hit a branch or something. Nothing. All right, let's get here on the freaking pier. Ooh, perfect. Looks like a really good spot. Let it sink down a little bit and kind of run it close to the bottom. That looks like good spots over there in the morning. That's what we're gonna be hitting. I don't like being underneath here with wasp. You can see them, they're looking for that nest. I'm about to knock this other one down over here. Hopefully that's not a big one up there, but we're going to knock this one down right here. Yeah, they're all flying around here looking for their nest I just knocked down. Hey man, I'm making them mad. <laughs> all right. That's the worst thing you have. Like, oh, get, get, get. I still didn't get the nest down. That sucker's coming after me. Oh, shoot. Come on. There we go. Got it. All right. I don't like, I don't like wasp. Especially when I'm going to be underneath there a lot. A bit serious now. Because if I don't catch anything, we at least going to catch some bluegill all right we got the hook baited let's get it in there and see what lays in the bottom let's go over here this is a cute little pole man <clears throat> kind of put it right off the edge here there's got to be some Some little bluegill hanging out here by these rocks. There's a bunch of rocks down here. You guys can see the rocks. See them down here in some grass and stuff. It looks like a prime territory for some bluegill. So let's see what happens here. A little bitty bobber on it. Man, if I can't catch a bluegill out here, I'm gonna starve. Right. See if anything got a hold of it. Looks like something. Yeah, uh, yeah, because I only have two left. Something grabbed a hold of it. So let's get a little bit deeper out. I'm trying to get used to this little pole. There we go. Come on. And I hear fish jumping out there. All right, there's got to be... Oh, shit. My pole messed up. 
Uh oh. What happened? Uh oh. I'm all tangled up here. I need to get it out before it goes in the freaking tree. Come on. Damn it. Yo, I think I got it in the tree. Man, I got a I got <clears throat> I got a mess here. Somehow the pole the line got around. Had lots of it too. I don't want to get it in that tree. Oh man, this is a mess. I met a couple of YouTubers earlier over there trying to catch some alligator gar. One of them's actually got a YouTube channel, which will the link will be in the description down here. And the other one has a tackle store. It's called Stanfield's Tackle. It's local in Corpus Christi. I want to give a big shout out to this guy right here. If you're looking for pompano rigs, I finally found some pompano rigs that you can use for redfish and trout. The thing about using pompano rigs, regular ones like Salty's pompano rigs, is their hooks are real small, so you're not going to be able to really, you know, hook a, put that much bait on it or hook a redfish. I mean, you can hook a redfish or a trout because I've done it, but you have better luck if you have a bigger hook. So Stanfield's Tackle, they're local in Corpus Christi, so you don't have to wait, you know, from Amazon or Walmart or Florida for shipping four to six weeks. So I'm going to show you a couple of these. Uh, Pompano rigs. Check them out, dude. He even hand paints the hooks. And they're big hooks. I'll show you a close-up view of one of the hooks. This is what exactly what I've been looking for. Look at that hook, dude. That's perfect for redfish and uh, trout and yeah, anything, really. Look at that. And he, he powder coats these hooks, different colors and stuff like that. And I've been looking for somebody in Corpus Christi that does this. Here's a yellow one right here. I don't know if you can see the size of the hooks. But again, Stanfield Tackle Company. If you're in Corpus Christi and you're looking for some pompano rigs that you can use for redfish and uh, trout and uh, drum and stuff like that, there you go, right there, man. Perfect. And uh, I've been looking for somebody. I'm telling you, this is this is a lifesaver here. So hopefully we're going to be hooking up together and uh, the other YouTuber and doing a collab, and we're going to be out there on the surf. He does a lot of surf fishing. But they come here at Lake Corpus Christi and they do alligator gar fishing too. And uh, so these are well made. They look well made. They got the little beads. I mean, let me show you close up. Like this one's only got one bead and it's got a pink float. See that? I mean, this is beautiful, man. And then this one here, <clears throat> I hate taking them out of the bag because they're a problem getting them back in the bag. But this one's got two beads and you can see, I mean, they're well built and a really tough line to pull in that redfish and, and those big trout. So I have been looking for something like this and that way I don't, I don't really like using just single hook and just a sinker, you know, like a Carolina rig or whatever. I'd prefer to use this. I can now run one pole strictly for redfish and stuff like that with these bigger hooks and then do my pompano stuff. I'm sure you could pull in a pompano with these too. But I'm looking forward to using these guys. I mean, appreciate it, uh, Stanfield Tackle Company. I appreciate you for uh, giving me these to try out. Thank you. Thumbs up to you. And look forward to fishing with you soon, very soon. Click that like button down there. That's very, very important to click that like button because if I see a 1,000 likes and 100,000 views, I'm going to be doing these type of videos a lot. But I'm telling you guys, these videos are hard, hard to make. you got to have... You know, you got to charge cameras, you got to do this, you got to fish, you got to all this stuff you got to do. So they're not easy. So I appreciate you guys if you would click that like button and subscribe if you like this kind of content and you want to see more content like this. Um, this has been a life changing event. It's something I needed. God was lucky enough to uh, give me a couple of fish because I feel really good right now. I feel revived and feel like a different man. Oh gosh, I lost my modified fixed e-cig. Where did it go? Oh lord, is it over here? Ah, there it is. Ah. Thank god. That's my surgical glove glass tank. Glass is broken, big chunk of it's missing, so oh, thank 
Thank Lord I found it. Let's see if it still works. Uh, oh yeah. It's taken me a long time to start this fire tonight. That's good. Ooh, almost had it. Look at it. We got fire, guys. And that was the one that was wet. The other one fell down there. All right. Right, guys let's reel this in it's gonna get tangled in that tree the wind started picking up we're gonna throw this uh like we did last night there's a lot of people on the pier so i may not be able to get on there we're gonna go ahead and throw this little crappie jig all right let's cast this one out Lots of bugs. Here we go. Just need one, one white bass over 10 inches. Nope. Let's go over here and check my trap. See what's gonna be coming in. See if maybe we got another perch. Oh, it is empty. Nothing. Oh, you got one, huh? Yeah, I won't be able to take them because I have to catch it. No, we're going to put them back. Let me see them though. Uh, I don't know how big gar gar have to be to tell you the truth, but yeah, that's a that's a a good one. I was telling him you just you gut it and you stick a stick through it, and then just yeah. moke them right on the. Yeah, but that's good. At least somebody caught something. I ain't getting no hits, <laughs> man. I got live yeah. perch on there and nothing's happening. Throw them out back in there. Yeah, that's, right. that's nice. Size. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're usually on the corners. That's where I seen them last night. You gonna throw them in? Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. You need to catch like a 150 pound one. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Well, guys, that's sad when you got a fire going and you ain't got no food to cook on it. I cannot believe it. I don't know if you guys can see that moon up there, but it's like a crescent moon. It's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, it is beautiful. All right, guys, I come back and look at this, my pole. Oh, shoot, there's something on this. There's something on it. Oh, no, guys, I think I got the first fish. Yeah, there's a fish on here. He's tangled in the trees, though. He's tangled in the trees, guys. He's tangled in the trees. Is it a catfish? Oh God, he got off. It was a catfish. It was a freaking catfish. Oh, that was dinner right there, man. Oh Lord, that would have been a good dinner. I knew it, man. They're right here up against the shore. Shit, excuse my language, guys. That was a catfish, man. Holy cow, that would have been so good. I cannot believe it. I went out there to look at that gar and I come back and my pole's bent. That'd be nice to have a big catfish and have a big catfish dinner. Look at the lonely guy in there. He's gonna be a pain to catch. No, he was actually easy to catch, man. Look at that. You're gonna catch me a big catfish. I already know it. This is a blast. I would recommend, if you guys can, get out and do this. I'm not saying go 48 hours without eat, but just get out and camp. It's, it's a blast. 
All right, we need to hook him really good so he don't fly off. These circle hooks I bought are pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Look at that. Look at that. Mr. Catfish will love this, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, since the wind's blowing this way, we gotta put this line over here, but the problem is, now we'll put it over here. And we'll cast it like out there. Hopefully we get a big old catfish, that would be sweet. I'd love to have some catfish. I, bought the, I got the fish fry, so I can fry them up. There we go, man, there we go. Come on, Mr. Perch. Give me something big. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. I got him. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is dinner. This is dinner. This is dinner. Oh, yes. Oh, man, it messed up my camera. This is dinner, guys. I got him. Don't get away from that tree. Get away from that tree. Oh, it's a good size one, guys. It's a good size one. Oh, yes. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a catfish. I gotta get him up. I gotta get him up. Oh, come on, come on. I got him, guys. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. A freaking catfish. Look at that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Finally, right off the shore. Look at that. Now we need to look up the uh, restrictions. I think he's big enough. Oh man, finally. Oh. Look at that, a freaking catfish. I'm so happy, I'm blessed. Can you believe it? Yes. So oh. I see the red, oh shoot. Look at that, sitting in my chair right there, man. Oh, come on. Oh, get out of there. Oh, freaking spider. Look what I got. Look what I caught, guys. I caught a cricket. I wonder if, wonder if he'll do good. Sucker, you ain't gonna get me this time. Because, oh, he can get right through these gloves. All right. So we are gonna clean him and eat him. All right. So I, I haven't cleaned a catfish in a long time. So what's the best way to clean them? It's gotta be. We're fixing to fry this catfish up. Oh man, it's gonna be delicious too if I can ever get this damn lid off. I need to season my pan, my cast iron. Come on. They gotta make so, things so difficult nowadays. Put some oil in there. Hopefully my pole over there that I still have out with a perch on it doesn't get pulled in the water. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. That's just fine. Set it over here. There we go, Louisiana seasoned fish fry. We got the uh, cast iron skillet with oil. This is the uh, catfish fillets I got right here. This should be enough for dinner. I wish I would have gotten two of them. And we're gonna drip them down in here. Actually, we're gonna put some pepper in here, make it a little bit more spicy. There we go. I'm so blessed to be able to catch a catfish tonight and finish the uh, the challenge off with a catfish. I mean, this is a pretty good chunk of meat right here. Look at that. And then you have another really good chunk of meat right here. See that? So I'm blessed. This is gonna be delicious, man.
Come on. It's not sticking. What the heck? All right. All right. Let's go put one of them in here. Ready? Listen to that sizzle. Oh man. Here we go. Oh man. That is gonna be good. Oh yeah. Oh. There you go. There's a fried catfish. All right guys, I hate shooting YouTube videos at night. Oh man, but check this out. This is my last meal. Tomorrow we leave at a, the challenge is over at 11 o'clock. Let me see how much time we got left. All right, just put a little pepper on it. Oh man, I'm starving too. And a little salt. Ugh, get my drink over here. All right, first bite. Mmm. Oh man. That's so good. Look at that meat. I needed two of these and then I'd be full. But look at that, man. I'm trying to get this camera to focus on it. There you go. Nice and brown. Mmm, man. That's way better than a white bass. This is a dinner. Mmm. It's good. Those were just the small pieces. Ah. I bet some of you guys thought I was going to fail this um, challenge <laughs> because I don't catch no big fish in the Gulf. But I'm telling you, I used to freshwater fish and catch a lot of bass and catfish. All right, Here's another little small piece. This is the monster piece. I got, I got two big pieces like this. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. That's good, man. Freaking delicious. Look at that meat, guys. I'm trying to get this focused on that meat. Uh, ain't nothing better than fresh catfish. Mmm. Mm. I'm sure glad I caught this tonight. I had another one, but he got off as soon as I got him to the top of the water. That would have been perfect. I'd been full. But. Uh, Oh man. I gotta clean this whole mess up before noon because I, I gotta leave out of here at noon. Oh, that is freaking good. One more little piece. Then we have the monster piece here. This is the last piece. I'm gonna enjoy it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. But this is dripping of grease. Man. Oh. Dude. 
Dude, this is freaking awesome. I haven't had cat catfish like this in a long time. This is excellent. Uh, I almost had another one too and it got off as I set this plate down. Last piece, man. Last piece. I ain't gonna lick the plate, but that's the end of it. Oh, that was freaking delicious. So hopefully this camera is focusing in on me. It's trying to. Man. Oh, that was freaking awesome. That's the best catfish that I've tasted in I don't know how long, man. All right, guys. I am sure blessed today, man. I was sure blessed today. Uh, you know, I've lost a couple of fish. I lost one, two catfish tonight, and then I landed one. So other than that, it wasn't a bad day. I am so freaking tired right now. I mean, all I've been doing is working since I got here trying to catch dinner and stuff like that. So I got two meals in two days. No breakfast and uh, only one dinner, which was tonight. The other one yesterday that I ate, I think it was at noon. So we got two white bass noon yesterday and then one delicious freaking catfish tonight. So other, other than that, man, my first 48 hour fishing challenge it was a success, I think. Now, I wish I would've caught more fish so I could eat more, but still, hey, I survived on nothing but water and uh, the fish that I caught. But check this out. All my solar things, now, this little one here, which I can't remember how many watts it is, I don't remember, but this little one, and then you got the big one over here. And this one I don't really care for because it's it's so touchy, that screen. But that's at 73%. This thing here, let's see what it's at. Let's actually turn it off and turn it back on. The one thing about these flash fish things, they're hard to figure out how to turn them on and turn them off. It's got a button for AC power over here. There it goes. All right, let's turn it on and see. This one's at 100 freaking percent. I mean, look at that. Compared to the big one, you think the big one would, and I've charged more on this little one than the big one. Um, so 73% versus 100% that's charged all my freaking GoPro batteries, my e-cig batteries. There's the poor e-cig. <laughs> I mean, I, I doctor that thing up. I cannot wait till I get home and put my new tank on there because that's ridiculous. I cannot believe it worked. But this little one, I think it's a 220 watt. I can't remember. And then this bigger one, this bigger one says it's a, uh, you know, I don't even see where it says it. But anyways, I like the little one better than the big one. This one was way more money, but this little one, you know, you could hook the solar panel, 100 watt solar panel like I have. And I and I charged this one today and it's only charged like some batteries and stuff like that. And it's a lot less power, powerful as this little one. But anyway, guys, I made a mistake and I left my window open over here and turned this light on about an hour ago before I got in the tent. Look at all these freaking bugs, guys. Look at all the bugs. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open this, once I turn that light out, I'm gonna open this thing and let them all get out. All them damn bugs. Man, I hope there ain't no damn spiders in here. Cause the tree's right there and I had that screen open. So hopefully I don't get bit by a spider. I done got cut up and jabbed by a catfish. So we've got, uh, 
I think we got like 10 and a half hours left. So it was fun. I enjoyed it. See you guys in the morning. I don't know, 6.30 in the morning, somewhere around there. Oh, what the heck? I'll show you guys what it looks like outside. The sun is just now coming up. Oh man, it's a little chilly this morning. Good morning guys, last day of the 48 hour fishing challenge. And I'm gonna see how many hours I got left. I need to start cleaning up and getting out of here. All right, we got 46 minutes and 31 seconds before I can eat again. All right, I wanna show you that I did not touch my um, first aid kit have not eaten anything except for what I've caught, and that's it. And there is my Texas Heat, and there is my Slim Jim. So did not have, did not use it, not saying I needed to use it, but all right, we're gonna go out here and check the crab, or the, uh, we're gonna go out here and check the minnow trap, perch trap. Ooh, there was a big old turtle down there. But this has been in here all night long. We're gonna see if we got anything. If so, we're just gonna let it go. Not a damn thing, but a mess. So I gotta clean all that out. Oh, there's some fishing line on there. Good at. I got some fishing line. Here, we're gonna take that out of the water, put it in the trash bag. All right, there, now we got that out. I appreciate you guys watching this video. This was a lot of work, man. It, was, it wasn't easy doing this. Um, I've worked hard putting this video together, spent a lot of money, uh, not getting no food or anything like that. Uh, it's been great. Have you made it this far? Thank you guys for watching this video, man. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'll tell you, this has been a eye-opening experience. It really has. Uh, it's pretty much changed me. I'm at Lake Corpus Christi. Uh, I, I'm telling you, it's beautiful out here. It was pretty nice the two days I was out here. But I'm telling you, this was a hard challenge to do. I had to continuously work trying to catch something to eat and building a fire and taking care of the camp and all that. I was just, I was going the whole entire time. Um, so I, if I get 100,000 views on this video and 1,000 likes, I will do another one. I will do one at the Frio River or Lake Granger. Uh, and then we'll eventually do one at the beach <clears throat> and make it where you can't catch whiting because that's easy to do. But it's been an experience, man. I'm telling you, it's changed me just being out here doing this for two days. So I'd highly recommend anybody that wants to, um, I, I don't know how you say, it, cleanse yourself or whatever, come out here and, and try to live off the, the land, the water and stuff like that. Now we still, we have still have two minutes and 21 seconds. And then I got one special spot for you guys. So hopefully you, you hung through the whole video and, uh, we're about to get there, man. 
So for me to go from salt water to come over to fresh water, all I brought was water out here in the first aid kit with the uh, Texas heat little bag and a Slim Jim, but I never had to hit that. So it was hard work. It, it was definitely hard work. And I lost probably two catfish. I lost two catfish and a gar. Um, last night's dinner was the best, man. That was the best catfish I have, I think, ever had, man. One minute and six seconds. And my uh, MacGyver e-cigarette is still working. I cannot believe it. When I get home, I put my new tank. I was like, man, I was about to give up the other day when this thing broke. 45 seconds left, guys. Here we go. 22 seconds and there's gotta be a car pulling up. now <laughs> oh man look at that man I made it 48 hours with nothing but water um, that's all I brought out here was water so I got one more spot for you guys let's head to it Can I get a double quarter pounder with cheese and a quarter pounder with cheese, a small fry, and a large chocolate milkshake? Yes, sir. Chocolate shake? Yeah. Can you make sure there's salt in the bag? You have a good one, sir. You too. Okay. Thank you. Oh guys, I just pulled into this um, church parking lot. I'm starving. Got me some uh, double quarter pounder with cheese and a quarter pounder with cheese, large fry. And to top it off, got me a chocolate shake with whipped cream. Man, I'm ready to freaking eat. I'm telling you, this is, it was rough. Lord, let me have a fry. Just one fry real quick. Mm. What am I gonna start with? This is the double quarter pounder with cheese. Look at that, guys. It's gonna be good. I gotta get a little bit of this milkshake real quick. Mm. Oh, Lord. Mm. I'll tell you what. This was a tough two days. Look at that. I mean, doesn't that look good? I would have loved to have had that last night. Mmm. Oh. I hope they gave me some napkins. Which they didn't. Yeah, they did. And I'm fixing to make a mess. Mmm. Man. That's good. Oh, Lord. I'm telling you, man. That's so good. Look at these french fries. Ah. Now we'll take a bite. Take a bite of this other quarter pounder with cheese. Mm. 
sorry guys, I'm just savoring this food, man. This is something else. Oh. That looked all awful. Yeah. I'm gonna be so stuffed. Hopefully I didn't pull in a bad neighborhood. Oh, that's good. Well, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Remember, if this video ever gets 100,000 views and 1,000 likes, I'll do another, uh, maybe a three-day fishing survival video. But I had fun. There was quite a few times that I was pretty much starving, especially the first night I got out there. So if you're going to do these type of videos, I probably wouldn't suggest stuffing yourself when you first go out there because I think that made it worse. But it was fun. I had a blast. It was an eye-opening experience. And uh, I plan on doing it again. I don't know when, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to end this video because I got two, I got basically a quarter pounder, I got four pieces of bread, three pieces of meat, and six pieces of cheese, big milkshake, look at that man, I wish I would have had that the first night I was out there, man, mm. take a bite of this one too, that good. All right. Peace, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button so we can get a thousand likes so we can do, I can do another video like this. We'll see you on the next one.